couch dogs need palaces. Hey there Lickin' Riffers, welcome to another awesome fingerstyle blues lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video I'm going to show you five awesome fingerstyle blues riffs in E, riffs, not licks. Um, and I'm going to show you how you can take them and make them your own and improvise and transpose them into different keys. But first, I'm going to try and improvise a little something so you can see and hear how those riffs go. So, something like this. trying hard to keep it around the riffs that I'm going to show you. So um, before we start, I just want to mention that this is a donation. Uh, one of your fellow viewers purchased it as a private lesson and donated it to the channel so all of you can enjoy it as well. So blues in E starts with E. So put on E7. I put it on like this. So put E on, take the finger off of the D string and put your pinky on the third fret of the second string. That way you get two seventh notes, the open D string and D on the second string. Okay, so you get a deep um, seventh sound. So um, the first riff is based on this. I say based on because again, it's open to interpretation. If you're just playing the riffs, you're not really playing the blues. You need to make it your own and interpret it and improvise. So it's based on this. Okay. Now, I'll show you variations after we learn it, but first it's just two bass notes, and then I always um, palm mute the bass notes, by the way, you don't have to, um, and then it's just a habit. Then you hammer on zero to one on the third string, so, okay, with your first finger. And then you can either play the E string or the B string. can play both. Okay, it works as well. Now, another option is to harmonize with the D string when you hammer on. Okay, and then you get the deep low seventh note. And then the high seventh note if you want. So that's a lot of options. You can also play the hammer on, then the first string, then the second string, or the second string and then the first. Okay, those are all valid options, and I believe I played those options when I demonstrated at the beginning. So, hammer on and then a higher string or a sequence of higher strings. Okay, that's the first riff. So you see, everything here is open to suggestions. So the riffs are basically just uh, very vague suggestions and I'm actually teaching you how you can play with them. So the second riff is on A7. So I'm putting A7 on like this, the second finger on the fourth string on two and the third finger on the second string on two. Now, um, what I do is this for the basic riff. I play the bass note twice. Okay, again, palm muted, you don't have to. Then I play strings two and four and I slide into the A7 from the first string, uh, from the first fret to the second fret. And now we have options. Now the basic option is to play the E string. But sometimes that's not enough. So um, the next option is to play 030 on the E string. Okay, using your pinky. So bass, bass, slide, zero, three, zero on the E string. Another option is to play three, two, zero. 
Okay? You can also choose to leave the slide out of it and play just bass bass and then three two zero and you can harmonize with the second string. Okay, that's a completely different riff altogether, but it's still based on the same idea. So Okay, something like this. Now um I think I did something like this. Okay, something like this. Um, and that's the next riff. So again, it's bass, bass, and then the slide, then the E string, then the second string, then three on the E string, and then again you have options. So basically the riff is this. Okay? It's the slide into the two, into the second fret of the second string, then E, then the second string again, then three on E. So that's the basic idea behind the improv. So you can take that and make as many variations as you can. Okay, you can play a note twice. You can play three, three, zero on the E string. You can even bend it. Okay, and get that bluesy bend. Um, so again, those are options. I hope I covered all of them. Now for the B7. The B7, I play it like this. I leave the pinky out of it. So I play uh, 2, 1, 2 on strings 3, 4, and 5. Now uh, you can slide into the bass note. You can do one slide to two. Okay, uh, but you can just play the B bass note twice. Okay, but again, that's another option. And then you can do 3 2 0 on the second string, or 3 3 0. You can bend it again. You can play 0 3 0. Okay, and you can harmonize with the second, uh, with the third string. You can also harmonize with the fourth string. You can play strings 2, 3, and 4. Okay, for that dramatic sound. So, okay, now um, another variation, another rhythmic variation um, is this bass, bass, then just a note or two on the second string, and then the bass again, then another sequence of notes. So, okay, for example. Bass, bass, um, three, three, zero, bass, bass, three, zero, or zero, three, zero. Again, you don't have to think about it as something written down on paper. Just let your fingers decide what to do. Trust your fingers and they'll make awesome music. Once you have the basic idea down, you can start playing with the pattern. So those are the three basic patterns that I'm using. Sometimes when I finish a lick in A and I finish it with the E string, then I pick it with the first bass note of the E chord, something like this. Okay? It enters the next bar. So don't be afraid of making long lines uh, as long as you remember when the bar changes. Again, count it. One, two, three, four, one. Okay? I wasn't trying to improvise anything. I was just trying to make a point about um, when the bar changes. So make sure your bass note and your chord change is in the right place. The next um, two riffs um, are something that I didn't use when I was demonstrating. And that's this. Now this is, um, again, the E7 shape right up on the fifth fret uh, with a bar, this is A7. So, this is very simple actually. You can take the E7 riffs and play them here. Ok? 
there you can also do 3-0 on E when you play E. The E shape, I mean. So that's the next riff. I know it seems like cheating, but it's not. It gives a completely different sound than this one. So um, because you get the high note, so... Okay. And also on B7, the bar on 7. play with that as well. Now um, from B7 to A7 you can make a chromatic transition. You can do okay, and use the bar on 6, B flat 7. So that's the fifth riff. You can make a chromatic transition. Um, which reminds me of another option for B7. You can do a chromatic transition with the bass notes into B7 and from B7 here back to A7 you can do 2 1 0 you can do B B flat A so that's another option let's just demonstrate it okay and over here I use the open E string as a transition in, um, right back into E from the bar so the strings would keep playing when I make the chord transition. So that's another thing that I can divulge. Okay, I'm not trying to play anything too complicated, I'm just playing sequences of strings. So. Um, before you go practice this, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons right here on the channel already for you to learn, and I upload a new one every couple of days or so, so what have you got to lose? Just click subscribe. You'll find the tab for this lesson in the description. There's a link to the website. Go download the tab. It's for free. Everything on Lake and Riff is for free, but if you want to give something back anyway, there's a large blue donation button right above the tab. You can't miss it. It's large. It's blue. It says donate, and you can help Lake and Riff produce you can help me produce more. My name is not Lick and Riff. Uh, you can help me produce more lessons. Everything goes right back into Lick and Riff, into making the lessons and filming them and editing them, and everything goes right back into your guitar education. So if you want to help out, I'd be more than grateful for it. So uh, you go practice this, and don't forget to share this lesson. Don't forget to tell people about Lick and Riff. Everything here is for free. It's a work of love, so show some love back by telling other people about the channel. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you the next lesson. Go download the tab and practice and have fun and don't forget, experiment and let your fingers work out the improv. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.